Today in the boot guide, we are looking at the Altai High Ground Waterproof Boot built with Super Fabric. So when it comes to new modern boots, Altai is actually pushing that envelope much further than most companies are today with the use of material, with the use of all these new modern materials that you can add into a piece of footwear. First off, the super fabric, it's their own design. It's been around for about 15 years. It is some amazing stuff. It has durability, it's waterproof, it has a stain resistant property to it, and it also just has a really interesting feel when you first touch it. Now, since Altai understands what they are creating essentially is going to be a uniform performance boot for guys who are in law enforcement, forestry, guys who are doing that type of work, they really focus on building a boot for that. But when you remove that from the equation and you look at this boot as either a work boot or a hiking boot, it really does make sense that boots like this are going to lead the way in the future. The sole is the Vibram XS Work sole, and we've seen this sole a lot over the last two years. A lot of work shoes are using it. A lot of tactical boots are using it. A lot of outdoor companies are using the compound because it sheds mud really nicely. It's super slip resistant and it's flexible but it doesn't wear down really quickly. Now, probably the other really nice part about the sole is the heel to toe rise on a level surface that you're actually getting a little bit higher in the heel with the sole. You get a little bit of a shank section here that you can actually climb a rung with this boot. But because Altai understands that it's gonna be a uniform tactical boot, it's gonna be for operations and whatnot, they did create a narrower toe than what we're used to seeing in a lot of stuff. It's not so narrow that it becomes a pointy toe, but it is just narrow enough that it fits into the rung of a ladder that you can actually just feel secure using this part of your foot to climb with. And you're not gonna feel like you're gonna slip all over where you need to use the ball of your foot to get it on something. Now, when you open this boot up, when you just get it all open and you take a look inside, the lining is outstanding. The way they built and padded the inside of this boot without interrupting the natural shape and form of the outer part of the boot is really something else. A beautiful polyester material they use to line the foot, which is a wicking material, so the boot actually breathes. That's part of the whole principle of the super fabric is that it's waterproof, but yet it breathes, so they needed to use a breathable material inside. At the top of the boot, the padded collar is a nice, thick, heavy pad that wraps around. It's not sectional, so you're not gonna feel little things digging in where they had to cut and piece the foam together. It's one continuous piece that goes around the top of your ankle and feeds into your Achilles. On the tongue, you'll find Cordura all the way up and down, so you can tie these things really tight. It's a very, very strong material. The laces are not gonna dig in and start to tear up the material. The tongue is padded. The hardware is metal all the way through two top speed laces. And when you go to lace with these new speed laces that a lot of the companies are using, they really are a blind speed lace. As long as you're used to wrapping your laces around, you can hit that speed lace. It's got a really nice way for the lace to enter. Nice touch on the speed lace. Now, the insole inside this boot is just this basic sock liner. It's a reinforced arch and heel, so you get support from the insole. The front of it is a little EVA material, so it's nice and soft. It's covered with this brown material, which is the wicking material. So when you put all this together, it completes the whole package of the boot. Now about size and fit, well, guess what? I actually went down a size. I am wearing an 11 and a half in this boot, and that usually doesn't happen. Main reason why? I wanted to feel what a true tactical boot felt like when it's really snug to my foot. Most of the time when I'm buying tactical boots, I buy them thinking that they're gonna be work boots, that I'm gonna be running around working in them. I'm gonna spend 15 hours in these things. But I really wanted to have a boot that was gonna be a performance boot. In order to have a performance boot, you need something that's really tight to the foot. You need something that hugs your foot. And given the fact that the super fabric moves, that the mud guard moves, and all of this moves, once your foot's in there, it stretches, it forms, it fits to your foot, 
this was the perfect boot for me to experiment with, with going down a half size in something like this. Now, if you were planning on wearing extra socks with this thing or big heavy wool socks, you might just want to go with your size. But if you're going to wear nice polypropylene socks, if you're going to look for the wicking properties to happen and the waterproofness to happen in warmer climates, you could definitely probably go down a half size. Now, one of the first things I noticed out of the box is the boot is exceptionally lightweight. It is a tactical boot and it is like a lot of the new modern tactical boots. They are all lightweight and they should be because once this thing's on your foot, you want to forget about it. You want this boot not to be there. You don't want to have to think, oh, my big toe hurts or my heel slipping. It just all goes away. The weight has a lot to do with that. So when Altai was designing this boot, they made sure to add that into the equation. They wanted to make sure the boot was going to be lightweight. So when you put it on, you didn't think about it. You thought about what you needed to do and not about your feet. So since I'm mentioning the weight, we might as well see what they weigh and this pair of eight inch boots, these really tall boots are weighing in at 2.8 pounds. So that's the Altai brown tall boot built with super fabric, 100% waterproof. Hey, if you're currently wearing anything from Altai, whether it's past generations, whether it's this new generation, whatever you're wearing from the company, please comment below and let guys know what you think about the boot, what you think about the fit. Did you go down a half size in order to get a really snug, good, tight fitting boot? Or are you wearing them a little on the loose side in order to incorporate more socks? Hey, if you're interested in knowing more about the boot, if you want to see a breakdown on what they offer for the super fabric, or if you want to see a couple videos from the guys who are actually working at the company, swing by to bootguy.com. I'll have all that plus some detailed photos compiled in a blog posting all about this boot. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And remember, if you're on Instagram or Twitter all week long, I'm finding beautiful stuff like this boot, taking photos of it, shooting it out in the wild, and just letting you guys talk about it with me. Hey, if you're about to pick a pair of these up and you got some questions about size, whether the boot's right for your line of work or anything like that, feel free to shoot me over an email. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in these boots because I am really drawn to them. The new materials, the super fabric, just the way the boot is built and it fits is something that I really want to wear around a lot and just see how it performs in different types of environments. So if you're about to pick a pair up, feel free to shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the boot guy. Thanks a lot for watching.